you can provide me with an update of the South Deep operation since establishing the mechanised operating model? We've seen a good pickup in uh, tonnage over the past year and we've increased our gold production by 12% in the previous year and our de-stress which is really developing and opening up the ore body for the future also went up 26 percent so the new operating model has certainly given us um, improved performance that said uh, we took a mid-year review last year of where we thought the build-up was going and uh, we thought that the build-up was going to take longer than what we said previously and it would only reach full production by the end of 17 instead of uh, during the course of uh, 2016 and the principal reason behind that is lack of availability uh, of key equipment, um, skills both at the operator and supervisory level, and also uh, mechanised um, maintenance practices uh, needed some work. Also there was infrastructure that needed to be uh, debottlenecked, and we put in a plan of action to address those issues. And with that in mind, we thought that we could leverage off the skills base that we already have in Australia, where there's 50 years of mechanised mining experience as opposed to really pockets of excellence in this country, and avail ourselves of the opportunity to bring those people here and transfer best practice, knowledge and skills. And so we've tried this before, but we didn't do it in a big enough way. And this time we brought in a team of about 15 Australians uh, across all disciplines, right down to the, uh, the fleet operating side so that we could train up our people vertically across the operation. So they've been here now for about four months, including a GM that very successfully ran Agnew and turned that around. And we're looking to, um, to really give a strong underpin and de-risking of our long-term build-up plan to 650 to 700,000 ounce range by the end of 2017 and that's really the purpose for bringing them here is to improve the operator skills, um, improve the the whole culture, the mechanized mining culture. We still believe that we have remnants if you like of co a conventional mindset and we need to graduate from a conventional mindset to a purely mechanized mindset where people have nothing else in their minds uh, except that and uh, they'll be here for at least two years uh, or longer. In fact, I would see a continual stream of uh, skills and resources coming backwards and forwards from Australia to, to help us to continue to, to underpin, de-risk and deliver this build-up plan. I think this is probably going to be a, a five, five to ten year process of continuous improvement. Um, but I think the key thing is de-risk and underpin the existing build-up plan and the early results are looking very encouraging. Well in terms of where we want to be I think it's going to take us till the end of next year to make what I would call a meaningful sustainable improvement in mechanized mining practices and skills but I think you'll see gradual improvements along the way um, but it's it's probably a five-year journey for us to get to where we need to get to. And you might say, gee, was that's a long time. But in the genesis of a 70-year life mine, it isn't. And you know, if you look at setting things up properly from the outset, uh, I think that's going to give us lasting benefits over many years to, to come. So uh, I think we'll see some improvements later this year. Uh, first half, I don't think we'll see too much. But second half of the year, I think we will. And then into next year, you'll see more tangible improvements. But I'm looking for a step change, certainly by the end of next year. I think in terms of full production, we, we still don't see the end of 2017 as being a challenge. We still think that's something that's achievable. So uh, no change in our thinking there. Uh, we've recalibrated our view as to what we think this year will end up being slightly lower than where we were, about 10%. But I don't think that is something that's going to derail the, the longer term build up. Uh, we're still confident that uh, we can meet that. Uh, stopping the, uh, the cash burn is key. But we need to stop the cash burn in the right way, not by stopping the key development, because that would be easy to do, but it wouldn't be sustainable. It's by actually getting an improved operational performance. And given what we've uh, indicated for this year and what we see, if current spot prices hold in RAND terms, 
we could well be there by the end of this year or before the second half of next year. So it's not uh, that far away and uh, I think that'll be a very important milestone for South Tech.